Not many years ago, I was weighed down and irritated with questions that I couldn't find answers to. Early one Saturday morning, I had a little dream. In the dream, I could see a gazebo, and I understood that I should go stand in it. It had five arches encircling it, but the windows were made out of stone. And I complained in the dream, not wanting to go inside because it was claustrophobic. But the thought came into my mind that the brother of Jared had patiently melted stones into clear glass. Glass is a stone that has undergone a state change. When the Lord touched the brother of Jared's stones, they glowed with light. And suddenly, I was filled with a desire to be in that gazebo more than any other place. It was the very place, the only place for me to truly see. The questions that were bothering me didn't go away. But more brightly in my mind was the question after I woke up. How are you going to increase your faith like the brother of Jared so that your stones can be turned into light? This isn't the stage in our eternal development where we have all the answers. But it is the stage where we develop our assurance, or sometimes our hope, in the evidence of things not seen. Assurance comes in ways that aren't always easy to analyze, but there is light in our darkness. For those seeking truth, it may seem at first to be the foolish claustrophobia of windows made out of stone. But with patience and faithful questions, Jesus can transform our windows of stone to glass and light. But what are the practical steps? What is the key to reconnecting to the power of Jesus Christ when we're flickering? President Nelson said it very simply, the key is to make and keep sacred covenants. It is not a complicated way. Make Christ the center of your life. If you feel that the beacon of your testimony is sputtering and darkness is closing in, take courage. Keep your promises to God. Ask your questions. Patiently melt stone to glass. Turn to Jesus Christ who loves you still. I testify you are beloved. The Lord knows how hard you are trying. You are making progress. Keep going. He sees all your hidden sacrifices and counts them to your good and the good of those you love. Your work is not in vain. You are not alone. His very name, Emmanuel, means God with us. He is surely with you. Take a few more steps on the covenant path, even if it's too dark to see very far. The lights will come back on. I testify of the truth in Jesus' words, and they are filled with light. Draw near unto me, and I will draw near unto you. Seek me diligently, and you shall find me. Ask, and you shall receive. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.